We need a recap from mm. a long weekend. Man, I'm feeling a little sapped. We made the terrible idea of jumping in the truck and hammering from Austin, Texas to Columbia, South Carolina and Lexington, which would be Sornex HQ. That's right. We're fresh off the the truck and oh. oh my god, two days there, two days party hardy, two days back, and now we're here. Yeah, we did get a cool chance on the way home though to stop and hang out with the guys from Florida State. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Got to meet their coaching staff and go through all their weight room and see all their facilities and that. And that was a nice little break on that drive. Yeah, Bobby Bowden Field. We saw some championship trophies, some yeah. Heisman trophies. We saw some Heisman's, a couple uh, national championship uh, crystal, Three. yeah, uh, crystal footballs, which is pretty cool to see. Mm-hmm. And got uh, got a vision of Coach Storms is is future weight room that's going up there shortly, which will be. All Sorenex. Mm. Well, as I've said before, if you're a professional or collegiate facility and you're uh, uh, expecting to attract the best recruits in the world, you got to have a Sorenex weight room. I oh. mean, the bells and the whistles, just the aesthetic appearance when you walk in, it's like something out of like the Lego movie with that they built with erector sets. It's a you know, huge one-inch bolts and big pieces and things that move. And uh, I don't think there's anybody in the world doing it better than Sornex when it comes to equipment. The reason we have all Sornex up in our gym. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a beautiful representation of the teams and the schools investing in their athletes to put the coaches in the best position to really hammer them and, and well, unlock athletic potential. Well, it kind of reminds me a little bit, if you go back into history, if you think about um, like the Palace of Versailles. So... <sighs> Okay. Um, Enlighten me. <laughs> I got no idea. So the uh, you know the kings of France they built power the you know the palace of Versailles this like ultimate showpiece to bring like the courtiers there and put this whole deal on and uh, at the end of the day it had nothing to do with you know infrastructure or making France great it was just a huge showpiece because at the end of the day a forty five pound is still a forty five pound plate two hundred pounds is still two hundred pounds to overquote my buddy. Henry Rollins, who's been eviscerated in every CrossFit gym with that amazing quote. But uh, when they bring in these 18-year-old kids, 17-year-old kids who are expecting to go and play, they have to build these, you know, really palaces. These are like the Palace of Versailles, these amazing facilities for these kids. Because once you're there, uh, you know, they want to invest in their players, but, you know, their school, you know, the football doesn't change. I mean, you know, like you can get strong in any situation. I mean, there's, you know, uh, you know, tens of listeners right now, <laughs> tens of our listeners right now that are training in bitching little garage gyms with uh, equipment they bought on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace and things they've made that are really fucking strong and, you know, really capable. But uh, those, you know, big palaces and, and dude, I'm so stoked to see that Sornex is really meeting the demand and like the stuff they come up with. But really these are about show places for recruiting and proving to you know, uh, the staff and the players and the culture and all this stuff that, you know, they're major contenders. It's hard to be a national championship team with, you know, equipment and, and a facility that was built 25 years ago when the schools um, that are really at the top are investing every couple of years in like the most amazing looking weight rooms you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to see it too. And then Josh, is, he's got five full-time staffers. So respect in that is he's investing in giving the guys not only the equipment, but then the, the coaching staff paired with it. And those dudes are big, and they're flipping strong. The yeah. deadlift champion, grip champion at the Soarin' X Summer Strong event, so shout out to those dudes. Yeah, they're strong cats. Um, I didn't get a chance to get their background, but I'm guessing they're ex-football players. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're all towering over me. Yeah, they were all big dudes. All had big hands. I'm going back, I'm a little great train and I'm right on track. I'm